Hi, today I'm going to make blackberry lilies. Very easy to make lilies. Materials required are crepe paper in uh, yellow, dark yellow, peachish orange and green, thin wire, thick wire. This is a yellow crayon, a red colored pen, some cotton wool and green flower. All the measurements are in centimeters. This is the stencil for the anther. This is 0.3 by 1 centimeters. Cut 3 pieces per flower. This is for the stamen. This is 1.75 by 0.5. Cut 3 pieces. This is for the stigma. This is 3 centimeters by 0.75. Cut 1 piece. This is for petal A. <coughs> this is 4.5 by 1.5. And the stem is 1 point, uh, by 0.5 centimeters. Cut 3 pieces. This is for petal B. This is 4 cm by 1.5 cm. The stem is 1 by half a cm. Cut 3 pieces. Then you have the bud. This is 3.5 by 3.5 square. And this is to be cut the same a number as this. So this is 3 cm by 1 cm. And the base is 0.5. Both of them are for the bud. This is for the bract, this is 3.5 by 1.5 cm and this is for the leaf, this is 3 cm by 25 cm long. Cut a piece of thin wire, this, is, this one is about 17 cm and take the piece for the stigma. So first take the yellow crayon and just color one side of it, covering about half a cm. Like this and then just stretch this area stretches like this now apply some glue on the area which is not stretched put the thin wire about halfway of the stigma and then just roll it So it will become like this, just open it out a bit, so this is the stigma. Take the small piece for the anther, just apply glue, and roll it like a ball or like a cylinder. Like so. Then take the piece for the stamen. So I'll just turn it over. Apply glue on this. Take the piece for the anther. And just stick it here. And then just roll this also. So it will look like this. I made the other stigma in the same manner. Now take petal A and take the yellow crayon and just color the sides of it. Leaving the center plane. Like this, then take the red pen and just put dots on it at random. Some can be, you know, like blotches also, so it's okay. This way. 
So I made the other two in the same manner. Now take the petal B and the yellow crayon and just color the lower half of the petal. Like this. Take the pen and in this instead of just dots, like you can put dots, put a you know scribbles. Anywhere. So this is what it looks like. I made the other three holes. Now just sort of stretch each petal from the top area just a little doesn't really matter if you don't and give a few crimps on top and on the sides like this on petal A and on petal B just stretch you know just crimp on the sides and stretch the top part a bit like so so I'll just do with the others Take the three stamen, just apply glue on the base a bit and stick them together. Just sort of hold them together and then take the wire with the stigma. And then stick it at the same point as the base so they'll come a little lower than the stigma just press it like this then I've cut a small piece of paper small strip so just apply glue on that And stick it around these like this and then just bend these anthers just curve them down Like so. And take these petals, the petal A first, apply glue on the stem, and stick it like this. The next one, This will come in front. And these would come in these gaps between each of these petal A. So I'll just stick one.
so this is how it will look take a tissue paper strip and I didn't mention this earlier it slipped my mind sorry just cut a strip from it fold it Now just apply glue on this. And leaving a little bit of the flower on the base, just wind it. So it will come a little bit on the wire and wind it at the same spot. I just want to make it thick. like this then take some green tips stretch it so just wind it on top of this and when you reach below it just twist it a couple of times so that you know you get the shape Like so. Now just open out these petals, press them down a bit. And then pull down these stamen also. And bend this stigma. this is how the flower would look now for the bud cut another piece of thin wire this is slightly shorter so this is about 12 centimeters long take some wool take the wire and cover about 1.5 to 2 centimeters of the wire with the glue and then just stick this hole on it twist it it becomes like this take the piece for the bud, the square piece stretch it well apply glue and just put it like this bring down the edges so it should be a longish kind of a shape like so when take this piece the petal shape for the bud just stretch it apply glue just stick it So this is how the bud would look. Now in the same manner as I did for the flower, take the tissue paper strip, cut a thin strip out of it, fold it, and 
this also I am going to wind just below the bud like this take the green floral tape and start winding it from just below the bud And here also you'll have to twist it a bit. So this is how the bud would look. For the leaf, just take the strip and fold it in half. And then from one side, just give a little curvature and cut it out, giving it a point. Like so. So I have made two more leaves like this. Now to assemble it, take the long piece of the green floral tape. Stretch it. Take the thick wire and the flowers. So just wind a bit first. Taking the second flower. And then the bud. Then you take the brat, just put in the wire like this, wind the tape over, and go down the stem a bit. Then take the leaves. So the leaves are, you know, like a fan. Put one and then put the second one opposite to that, you know, folding it in like this. And then take the third one this will come where the first one is so they always are like you know sideways forming a fan so you can put any number of leaves that you like like this so this is how the flowers work.